then bringing in Springer and um, you know Risa, Risa and Robbie Ray, bringing in Simeon. They brought some uh, bats. They got a good lineup. Um, you know, and they brought back some of their pitchers, and uh, you know, obviously got Kirby Yates too. So it's uh, it's uh, it's good that to see uh, you know them going out and spend some money, bring some competition. You know, makes the you know a little bit harder and. It'll be exciting, you know. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to go up to Toronto and play them there too. And uh, uh, I'm excited, man. Um, they're gonna be a good team. And it'll be a fun test uh, during the season. Thanks, Pete Caldera, please unmute. Look, the other day, uh, Judge was talking about uh, what a natural fit Jay Bruce uh, has been uh, on this club the last month, and just wondering. What your impressions of, of having him around have been? What your, your conversations have been like? Yeah, he's actually uh, been my locker mate, um, so it's been nice. And you know, getting to take ground balls to him at first, he's a great guy, intelligent guy. <laughs> he's got like 350 home runs in the show. It's pretty impressive. Um, you know, obviously, you know, growing up in St. Louis, I got to see him. You know, uh, hit a bunch of dingers against the Cardinals. Uh, he's a really good player, man, and. Uh, He's fun and obviously brings a lot of versatility with be able to play the outfield and first and um, overall good dude and I'm excited to get to know him but uh, he's been a great guy and um, yeah I think he's got a chance to uh, make the team. Who else has a question for Luke? Sweeney Murdy, go ahead, please unmute. Hey, good morning, Luke. Um, because of the protocols this year, there aren't any guest instructors in camp. And I'm wondering um, if, what kind of experiences you've had with those guys in the last couple of years, whether it's you know, at first base with, with Tino Martinez coming in or just talking about hitting, anything like that. Um, what have you missed about having those, not having those guys here? Yeah, you mentioned Tino. Tino was big for me because he was always at first, and uh, I learned a lot about you know playing position and – uh, my feet around the bag, scooping balls, which was great. You know, it's just nice to have those conversations, even in the lunchroom, you know, shooting the, shooting stuff with them. And, you know, you got Reggie Jackson, Nick Swisher. You know, you can go on down the line. Those guys are just baseball lifers, love to be around the game, just good people. And, um, you know, it stinks. And, you know, you wish you could have them back and have them here every, all the time and just have their company, bring back stories and uh, good times. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do and uh, hopefully – you know, next time around, or even during the season, we see you know like Andy Pennets and CC and all those guys around the stadium because uh, those guys, uh, it's fun and brighten up your day when you guys see see those guys. People talk so much about how much the game has changed, but do you get things out of those conversations that help you play the game better? Um, yes and no. I mean, sometimes you know you can get on a personal level and maybe you sit down and have a twenty thirty minute conversation about baseball, and sometimes. It could be about, you know, something going on in your life or, you know, maybe certain treatments that, you know, work for that guy or I don't know. It can be a lot of things that can go into baseball but can also go into, you know, the, the mental side or the physical side of it too. So um, it's just I, there, it's just nice to have that there, and I think that's what's great about the leadership we have in the locker room is we bring back guys like Guardy and um, that they're similar to that and similar, similar character to – uh, just make you overall better people and a uh, better player.